Hi there! In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use three different navigators with Thunkable. Navigators are great components for organizing your app and changing screens. There's the Tab Navigator. The Tab Navigator will give you the option to change screens by clicking these tabs at the bottom. There's the Draw Navigator. The Draw Navigator allows you to change screens by pulling out a little drawer and then selecting which screen you want to go to. These navigators are set up in the same way. Let's drag a Tab Navigator component into the phone. Next, drag and drop the Screen 1 component on top of the Tab Navigator. See how it's indented? This means that the screen is now linked to the Navigator. To add more screens, go to the Screen component in the Layout section. Drag and drop two more screens into the phone. And to organize them in order, we can go to the Component tree and place them under Screen 1. To make it easier to see the screens that we are changing, I'm going to change the colors of the screens. Let's go to Screen 1. Let's make Screen 1's background color be red. And now let's go to Screen 2. Let's change Screen 2's color to be blue. And let's go to Screen 3. Alright, let's make Screen 3's color be green. Great! Now when you live test, you can change screens by clicking on the tabs at the bottom. This is actually the same setup for the Drawer Navigator, so we don't need to go through that one, but there is a slight difference when you are using the Stack Navigator. This navigator allows you to stack screens on top of each other, and have you navigate with buttons. Using the Stack Navigator has the same setup, so let's just drag a Stack Navigator into the app, and then we can move the screens under the Stack Navigator. So when you have your screens set up in the same way, Next, we're going to add a button to each screen. So I'm just going to add buttons to each of the screens. And again, we're going to be clicking on these buttons to move to the next screen. And in the Stack Navigator, another little button will automatically be created, which will allow us to go to the previous screen. We've already learned how to navigate to a different screen with a button click. First, go to Button 1's drawer and get the Button 1 Click Do Block. Great. Then in the Control section, get a Navigate to Screen 1 block. Alright, and we're just going to change this to say Screen 2. And now we can copy this entire block combination and we can just take it to Screen 2. So let's click Screen 2 and paste and we just need to change the button number to say Button 2 and then change the screen number. Let's make this say Screen 3. Awesome! So when we use the Stack Navigator we can go forward with button clicks and the navigator will allow us to go back.